What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm going to take a look at drum machine and uh, the pattern editor. All right. So um, Cubase 14 has a lot of great features for both beat makers, music producers, and film composers, orchestrators. All right. So today I'm going to take a look at the drum machine and the pattern editor, which is useful for music producers. All right. So um, without further ado, let's jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and add a track now. I'm going to use drum here and I want to use the pattern pattern event. And uh, let's name this drums. Okay. So now I have this drum machine here. Okay. If I want to access this window here, I just have to click on this drum machine, modulator and all the stuff. We have a drum designer here. so. We can design our own kicks, snares, hi-hat, and blah, 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 blah. And if you want to use samples, you can go and click on the samples, and then you can uh, drag a sample like so and drop it here. Or you don't necessarily have to click on the sample, just drag and drop it here. All right, that's cool. Okay, I'm still learning here, so um, I may miss out some of the things. But if I miss that, I'll definitely make another video in the future. All right. So, uh, so let's, let's just, you know, program drum real quick. So I'm going to go with this kick. Okay, I'm too lazy right now. So I'm just going to use all the samples in this Bruno Mars kit, right? So, right. So let, let's program a drum real quick. If you have your left and right locator already set and you double click on this window, it's going to create drum pattern based on this length. So if you have, let's say five bars, you double click on it, it's going to create five bars uh, length pattern all right so uh, I don't want five bars so I'm just gonna go to the full all right so I have this four bars of pattern I think I want to reduce it to just one um, okay so I have this kick now let's program real quick all right let's program like that okay So that's how you program the drum beats and you can also go here hi-hat and click on this second so you get this pattern here which is useful and if you want to change the velocity you can just click on the samples that you want to change and just and just reduce the velocity like so all right, and if you want to add a, um, a repeat, you can do the same as well. Okay, I like the beat. So now oh, another thing that you can do is actually you can use this knob to create uh, your hi-hat pattern. So it's going to give you a, a couple of different kind of variations. And Okay, that's kind of cool. You can click on this to get randomized patterns for you. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, and obviously you can set your n number of steps that you want. If you want to just program a an eight steps, you can just reduce it. Okay, 
or if you want 16 you can just bring it up or 32 based on your preferences and you can change the uh, the step resolution here um, 16 or 30 seconds this is going to be faster right we don't want to do that so let's go back to 16 or if you want to just make it <coughs> half tempo you can just go ahead and select this one all right so that's cool okay and the other cool thing that i like about this drum machine or at least the pattern is that i can actually open it to a different window which is separate from the this window let's say i don't want to open a lower zone right now i can open it separately and you know program my drum bass accordingly right so So I like that. I like that option. If I want to do that, I'll do that. Um, okay. And we can add a little bit of swing here. And this swing is independent of the samples that you have here. So let the snare, if you don't want it to swing, you can have it zero. And if you want the swing only in the snap, you can do that or hi-hat let's swing the hi-hat a little bit okay and let's say if you have a different variation okay let me just rename this real quick let's say i use this for the verse and i'm gonna copy and paste okay Okay, I'm going to just copy this and paste control D. Okay, I want to have a different variation for this one. So let's create a maybe duplicate this pattern and then remove some of these I had like so. Okay, yeah, let's just do this. And this is going to be a, a second one. I'm going to rename this one as pre chorus. All right. So now I want to have three, sorry, three of the verse and ending with the pre-chorus or maybe verse A. Should I name it verse A? Let me just rename this. Verse and let's say like that. Okay. Now. Okay, that's cool, isn't it? Okay, let me just change the color because I like my drums in red. Okay, I want to have a different end at the 8 bar. So what I can do is I can duplicate them and I can rename this real quick to verse and A. Okay, now verse and A, maybe I want to remove the hi-hat so the first verse here the end here will have hi-hat the verse end here will not have hi-hat so let's hear the whole thing Isn't that cool? Okay. So let's say if you want to select this one and this one and this one and then change the pattern. Select each whatever the event that you want and then go ahead and click on this. Go to PCA. And now you have a different pattern already selected. So you can actually have multiple instances of the event selected and go ahead and change them to whichever that you want. All right. So this is how you can actually use drum machine and the pattern editor for your advantage. I have the options to route them to individual output. 
Okay, for instance, now the snare, I'm going to set it to 2, um, 3, hi-hat to the 4. Okay, now when I click on this drop-down menu, you can see that I have hi-hat, snare, snap, drum. This is basically the kick. So every, everything is already named for me according to the sample that I used. And if I hit play now, all of these are it's on its own uh, channel. Okay, so if I'm mixing here, the mix console, let's say I'm mixing now. Okay, I can adjust them accordingly, which is, which is so fantastic, all right? Okay, and another cool thing that I like about this is the uh, pattern. Okay, let me just go to drum machine here. Okay, so for instance, let's say I want to have, I want to test a different kick. I can go to BBL, let me just find another kick sound. All right, so let's say I want to audition this kick. Okay, now my current kick sounds like this. But if I want this kick, if I want to audition this kick, I can just click on this, I can click on this hot swap preview pad all right so now this will temporarily be added to this pattern wait i click on the wrong one it's not the hi-hat <laughs> okay you have to make sure you click on the kick right so let's now audition it again So that's really useful because sometimes after I created a pattern, I, I may want to change the drum sounds, but I don't want to be adding a few other tracks to check the sound that I want, right? So this is really cool. And you can also swap the layer. For instance, let's say you have this kick, you like it, uh, but you may want to add a thickness to it. So you want to have a layer. So now if you want, if you want to add this kick, play now. Now there's no layer. Now there's a layer. So you get the idea now. So you can actually swap the drums um, as easily as you want. And I will talk about the drum designer later because that's going to take a long time. Just want to make this video short, All right? So if you guys find this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, smash the like button, and share this video to everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.